fellas, I'll tell you one thing right now. Being in debt, it may not be physical chains. You may not be able to see them, but I'm telling you right now, all those chains are there. They're invisible chains, but they are there. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. This Gentlemen, greetings, and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you about why debt equals enslavement. Fellas, debt equals enslavement. And what do I mean by debt equals enslavement? Well, fellas, I think we live in a society that promotes being stupid financially. We live in a microwave society. Everybody wants what they want right now. If you can't get it now, then wham wham. We're gonna cry and we're gonna be upset and we're gonna say YOLO and I don't care about my future or how this might affect me six months from now. I want it right now because I'm an adult child and I have no self-discipline. And you know what? Even though I'm broke as a joke, and I owe $100,000 in student loans, and I have a credit card balance of $10,000, and I'm living paycheck to paycheck, and I can barely afford to do anything. I'm gonna go out and take out a $35,000 car loan because I need a car, because I'm trying to stunt. Because I need a car for my two and a half mile commute that I have to work. And you can't tell me that I don't, that I don't need a car, Sean. I can't afford one, and I, I need my car to be safe and reliable. And I have to make sure it doesn't break down on the side of the road, so I have no choice but to go out and take out this loan. That's the mentality we have as a society. And that is the mentality that is keeping you broke. It's true. That's the mentality that is keeping you broke. Fellas, what you gotta understand is that in order to become free, in order to live a high quality life you need to have as few expenses as possible and when you have a bunch of debt that debt is keeping you a slave because you are paying the bank's interest on that money especially if you have a large balance too many people are just sitting around overlooking this balance counting on the government counting on some type of federal agency to help them out or to um, just come in and just relieve everything that they owe. Well, fellas, I can tell you right now, that's a terrible plan. That is a terrible plan. And if that's the plan that you're counting on working for you, that's not gonna work. Because the way you're doing it right now is gonna keep you in the, keep you in the matrix. It's gonna keep you a slave. If you were to go to the car lot right now, your average car lot, Banks are charging, even if you have perfect perfect credit, banks are charging between six and eight or nine percent for the current car loans. A lot of these places are offering you a seven, sometimes even eight year loan to pay those things off. And so a lot of you guys, your mindset is, yeah, but Sean, I can afford the payment. I can, I can afford the payment. But what you don't understand is it's not about the payment. Sure, you may be able to avoid the the payment but sometimes in life things change what if you lose your job what if you become sick what if anything and now you're stuck here with this payment and interest and instead of that money working for you instead of you making eight to ten percent on the money that you've saved on an asset that you've bought in, you're paying for a depreciating asset, meaning you're paying for a car that's going down in value. And that's why this debt trap is a, uh, it's basically you just jumping on a slave ship and saying, yep, sign me up because you have no discipline. You're not willing to wait. You're not willing to drive around that 2006 Honda Civic for four or five years. Even though it's a great car, even though it's gonna get you everywhere you need to go safely. Oh, but you wanna look fancy. 
You care about what other people think about you. You care about everyone's opinions. So you're willing to take on a, a massive amount of debt for a car. Same thing with student loans. I was looking online the other day and I saw that the University of Miami is up over $70,000 per year for out-of-state tuition. Think about that. Do the math, fellas. I'm not gonna do it for you. I know what it is. Do the math on that over four years. Is any degree worth that much money? Ask yourself that. Maybe for you it is. Maybe for some people it is. And if you're blessed to be able to pay that balance or you have parents that can pay it, then hey, so be it. That's a, hey, go ahead and get your great degree. But what I'm saying is there are, there are less costly ways of getting a college degree by going to junior college for a couple years and then transferring to your state school. If you came out of college with twenty or $30,000 tops, I think that's not too bad. You could pay that off in a year or two and it'd be totally fine. I think that's pretty normal. But for people who are coming out with $100,000 plus dollars of debt like I did, fellas, if you don't know my story or you haven't watched any of my uh, previous videos, go back and watch the second video I, I ever made on YouTube. And it's basically the story of how I paid off $136,000 worth of debt in a, a little under three and a half years. And that shit took a lot of sacrifice. So if there's anybody who is able to speak on this topic, oh, it's me. Because I've been through uh, the worst of that type of situation. And I've came out on the other side. And you can too, if you're in a similar situation that I was. If you got a bunch of debt that you need to pay off, go ahead and pay it off. It might mean you're gonna have to work 12 to 16 hour days. It might mean you're gonna have to work seven days a week, like I did, like I was. But I knew one thing, I didn't wanna be a debt slave anymore. But too many of you guys, you're signing up for it. Too many of you guys are walking around with a credit card balance. And I know someone's gonna come over here and say, yeah, but Sean, there's some, some debt is good, Sean, some debt is good. And yeah, you're right, some debt is good. Like real estate, for example, right? The, the Robert Kiyosaki way. If you are buying real estate and you're turning those into cash flowing assets, and you're making a monthly cash flow, that means your renters are paying off your mortgage or they're paying off your debt every month. And in addition to that, there's money left over that goes into your pocket. That is that is a, a great way to become wealthy and it's, it's tried and true. And many people have, have done that and continue to do that right now and over the years. So I think that's a great way to build up your wealth. That would be considered good debt. But fellas, if you're sitting up here and you got a credit card balance and you're paying 15 to 35% monthly on your credit card balance, that's, that's what you need to get rid of first because you are a debt slave to these credit cards. You can never get ahead if you are paying someone that type of interest on your money. You want to be earning that type of interest on the money that you do make. And so too many of you guys Maybe you don't get it, you don't understand how money works, how interest works, but you need to learn. You need to take the time to learn. You're, you're getting up going to work every day and you don't even know where your money's going. You never created a budget in your whole life. You can't get out of debt unless you know where every single dollar is going. This is why it's so important to create the budget. I've talked about budgeting in, in previous episodes, fellas, but I budget my money every two weeks, twice a month. And if any unexpected money comes in, I'm still budgeting that. I'm adding that into the appropriate categories. I know where every dollar is going. If I spend a dollar on a Snickers bar, you better believe I'm tracking that, that single dollar. Every dollar counts. This is how you become debt free and how you become wealthy. And fellas, I'll tell you one thing right now. Being in debt 
it may not be physical chains. You may not be able to see them, but I'm telling you right now, all oh, those chains are there. They're invisible chains, but they are there. And I could feel them. I could definitely feel them. They were with me everywhere I went. I didn't want to spend a dollar. I didn't feel comfortable spending a dollar because I knew in the back of my mind, I'm out here spending other people's money. This money ain't mine. This money ain't mine. I'm out here at the club for what? Why am I at the club if I owe somebody? Think about that. But your, your mindset is fucked up. You don't care. Some of y'all don't care enough. I know I talk to, to young people all the time and just their mentality about their finances, they, they truly don't care. And so it's gonna be hard for you to get ahead if that's your, that's your mindset. And then you're gonna become 30, 35, 40 and nothing would have changed. And you're still in the same spot and you're still complaining about me, how broke you are. You're still complaining about um, the government, waiting on the government to come in and save your ass and do something for you. And if I'm telling you if, you, if that's what you're waiting on, you're gonna be waiting an awfully long time. You're gonna be waiting an awfully long time, fellas, because they're not about to do shit. That's a pipe dream. If you wanna, if you wanna become debt free, if you wanna escape the matrix, you gotta put the fucking work in. Go work those 12 or 16 hour days. You're gonna have to make some sacrifices. You're gonna have to sell that fancy car and go get you a beater. But guess what? All that shit is temporary. That situation doesn't last forever. You're not gonna be down and out forever. It is a temporary sacrifice in order to get ahead. And if, hey, listen, if you don't wanna get ahead, then hey, keep doing it the way you've been doing it. But then I don't wanna hear you complaining that, that you're not where you wanna be or that you're broke as a joke or that you have to keep working or that you have to keep working these bullshit jobs that you don't like. Because you have nobody to blame but yourself. When it comes to being in debt, fellas, there's no worse feeling in the world. But on the flip side of that, there's no better feeling in the world than that day you become debt free. And I'm telling you, that was one of the best days of my life. It was one of the best days of my life because it, it, what it does, what being debt free does, it opens up so many possibilities in life because now you are no longer dependent on uh, one person, one place, one thing, one job. If something doesn't work out, mm. hey, it's all good. It's all good because your money is right because you don't owe anyone anything. If you got a uh, a $40,000 car, fellas, chances are you got a $1,000 car note every month, plus insurance, plus gas, plus you probably got a credit card bill of another $400. Some of y'all have so much debt that you literally have $2,000, $2,500 a month in bills just on your debts, just on shit that you owe other people. Think about that. Think about if you were to erase all of those bills out of your life. Now you have $2,000 that you can spend to live and enjoy and build wealth. Especially if you guys are living a, a fairly minimalistic lifestyle and you don't really need that much to survive, then you can go take that job that doesn't pay as much. You can go travel the world. You can do whatever you want, because you're free. So fellas, man, I don't know, man. It, this is something that I'm super passionate about, is being debt free, paying off those fucking bills, getting yourself out of the matrix because again what they want you to do is to continue to stay in it continue to soak in it continue to be dependent on a system that's no longer for you they want you to owe them some money 
They want to, the banks want to continue to make interest off of you. Don't let them. Don't let them. Take a couple years. Sacrifice. Get this debt paid off. And fellas, focus on starting to have your money work for you by investing in assets, by investing in mutual funds, index funds, stocks, crypto, real estate, investing in whatever you want to invest in, businesses, as long as your focus is on having your money make money for you. That is the goal. You got, get, you got to get rid of the, the debt and the slave mindset, fellas. So I'm about to wrap this thing up. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in, day out. If you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Check out my Patreon for exclusive weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.